Hi, welcome to Citizen Survival Plan. Welcome back if you've been here before. In today's video, I want to explain to people why you can't just buy a Baofeng off of Amazon or whatever and just expect it to work in an emergency. These things have to be programmed, and I've gotten a couple questions over the years about just using the scan feature. No, this generally will not work, and here's why. These radios, your UHF and VHF radios, rely a lot of times on repeaters. Not in all cases, but repeaters is where people go to find other people, and it's where radio people congregate through. And in order to use a repeater, it must be programmed. Now, before I even start, I'm going to do a brief explanation on what a repeater is. I'm sorry if you already know, but a repeater are little radio stations and towers set up all around you, whether they be GMRS or ham repeaters. They are simply a radio with a small tower or a big tower, depending on how powerful it is or not. And they are operating on two different frequencies with a tone, which is like the key to to access them. Your radio is going to transmit on one frequency into the repeater, and the repeater is going to spit your transmission out on its transmit, your receive frequency. This is where hams and GMRS users transmit through most of the time. We can also do simplex, and I'll talk about that a little bit later, but your radio will not be able to access the GMRS or ham network without programming it first. So let's say you're using your scan function and you came across this repeater here. This is just a random repeater as an example I'm using. So what you're gonna hear is 145-18000. You're gonna hear people transmitting to your radio on that. But if you just bought one of these and you're just using the scan function, you came across that on your radio, when you went to go transmit back, you would be transmitting to its transmit frequency. So no one would hear you and you would not go through the repeater. Again, you need to program the offset into your radio so when you key up, it will transmit down to the uplink shown here. And you also need the tone, which is pictured here. This is the key to access the repeater. So you need two different frequencies and a key to get in to use the repeater. So if you don't know how to program this and it's not programmed correctly to hook up to the many repeaters in your area, you will be transmitting to nobody. Will you be able to listen? Yes, you can listen, but the radio would basically be ineffective at being able to do any communication on your part. Now, this would work if you were doing simplex. That means you're not going through a repeater and the radio is simply spitting out in a transmission on a certain frequency. I don't know what that would be. But if there was someone transmitting just on, let's say this right here, 145-18000, you would be able to transmit back to them because they would just be on a single frequency. Now, you might not be in range and it's just one person. This isn't where radio people congregate through. So, so yes, the answer would be sometimes you would be able to if somebody's on a simplex frequency, but absolutely not. You would not be able to transmit back to anybody on a repeater frequency rendering your radio half useless. We also do offer these services here at Citizen Survival Plan if you're not a radio nerd and you would like to purchase a pre-programmed emergency radio. This is something that we do for you. I hope this video helps. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.